we'll go ahead and brighten the image. It's a little bit dark because it's a simple snapshot image to show you a bad image of how we need to improve that in Photoshop. Now, there are a couple different adjustments I can do here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go to my adjustment levels and go to levels and curves and brightness contrast. I'm going to go ahead and choose, for this example, curves. And there's an automatic tool to all of them. I hit the auto tool, and that will make an adjustment to here add the midtones a little bit brighter. But it's not affecting the highlights, and it's not affecting the shadow portion of my piece, and that's a good thing. Uh, but it's maybe not a perfect job. I'm going to move into my presets and go from my custom settings down to my lighter RGB. There's many different options of presets, and I would adjust. It's not as drastic as the auto feature did here, but it does make some adjustments to the levels and to make it a little bit uh, brighter in the curving pattern here. Or if I want to go ahead and click and drag, and I can make those adjustments by just clicking and dragging to my own touch. Now another interesting feature here that a Photoshop allows is the click and drag to modify the curve. So I click this icon right here. And I go ahead and click somewhere on the image. I'm going to go ahead and click on her forehead. I can move the mouse up and then move the mouse down. It will make those adjustments to my curves. I can make some adjustments and that looks pretty good as it's done some auto adjustments. You can always come in here and adjust the lines on your own to manually make those adjustments. Now you don't want a flat line. Just like in a hospital, you don't want a flat line. That's a bad idea. But definitely don't want to do that in Photoshop. With a flat line, things look nasty. The colors look very flat and the tones look very artificially gross. Uh, we don't want to do that. So we don't want to make sure we're not flatlining with our adjustments, but we can make some adjustments to the brightness and darkness, and that's making some pretty good changes. Now we can go ahead and hit Save, Control S, or Command S on a Mac, and we can move on to the next layer. I can go ahead and flatten these options. I'll go ahead and flatten. So now I have one layer to work on the different effects. Thanks for watching Better Picks in just a few clicks. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to see more videos on how to take your photography to the next level.